Hey everybody, this is John Siskovich from Farm Marketing Solutions, and today I'd like to talk about your domain name and hosting and what exactly that is for your farm website and where you can go to get started to purchase both of those. Now, let's head over to my website, foodcyclist.com. Now, foodcyclist.com is my actual farm website. I have a farm in Connecticut, and I raise chickens, and in the next, you know, in the coming years, I'll be raising a variety of pasture raised animals. And I also grow culinary herbs and vegetables. And I have this website, which serves as my farm website and the blog, which kind of tracks what we're doing and what we're up to. And if we look up at the top in the search bar, you're very familiar with this, uh, is foodcyclist.com. Now, if you think of your farm website as a store, your domain name, which is what you're going to hear in the future, uh, is your address. It's your physical address. Where do people go to go to your farm store? Your store, you know, you're selling information. If the, your store has products, the product is the information that you're putting up on your website and the name and the address are all rolled into one into the domain name. And that's up here at the top foodcyclist.com. So you need that to point, you know, point people in the right direction, tell them where to go. I mean, you see domain names all over the place. Uh, the thing that people, have a little bit more, t uh, a little bit more of a difficult time grasping is hosting. Now, hosting is the actual business or the actual brick and mortar uh, structure that your information is stored in. You putting this stuff up online, and where does it sit? It sits on a server, which is a big computer that holds all of the information. So, all these pictures, all this information, all this type that I've put in on this website, uh, you know, everything that you see here is hosted in a, you know, in a store, on a server, uh, in an actual building somewhere. Uh, I think my host is in Boston, so all their servers are located there, but it's accessible from anywhere because I have this domain name. Now, if you do a search for domain name and hosting companies, you'll find a ton of different people offering things. Uh, you'll find, you know, different uh, companies, different theories, uh, schools of thought on who's the best, who has the best service, who has the best prices, so on and so forth. And one thing to keep in mind that the cheapest price isn't always the best service. Uh, you're, you know, you get what you pay for in anything in farm goods and web hosting and, you know, automobiles, whatever you, you know, you, th you name it. Uh, so I, I trust experience and because I run a farm, because I've used this company for a long time, uh, and I'm a little partial to their name, I use Fat Cow. Now that's fatcow.com. And you can see here, as I'm recording this, they have a daylight savings sale for $3.15 a month. And that gets you uh, a free domain name, which usually costs you around 10 to $15. I think it's $15 now on average to register it. Uh, free storage and bandwidth, uh, free mobile site builder, uh, and a whole a whole slew of things that some some you're going to want to use and some you're going to just never use, never know that it's there. Uh, but, you know, different strokes for different folks. You know, different people get different things out of the different hosting companies. I've used Fat Cow for a number of years now for not only my web hosting, but my domain name registration as well. And I've really never been dissatisfied. Uh, I had one problem a number of years ago. They got on it and fixed it. Um, one of the reasons why I use them is their customer service. You know, if I have my, all my information registered through them, uh, it's really easy. They have a phone number, they have a live chat option, and you can open up a ticket to say, uh, and that, that whole process is, you know, you write in with an inquiry, Hey, I have a problem. And somebody gets back to you, uh, pretty much always the same exact day. Um, you know, there's, there's other little things that I like about them that they have some instructional videos. Uh, they're powered by wind energy. Uh, and it's cow themed. I mean, that's great for farmers. Uh, so this is the place that I go for my web hosting and domain name and to get started. Ooh, a quick note. Uh, so usually it's like $6 a month and you know, it's six fifty or six, $7 a month, uh, for your hosting. And that's, you know, like paying rent for your store. Uh, they always have sales. Fat cow always have sales and I'll have, you know, I'll have links, uh, to make sure you, you reach the right place underneath this video and on the website. Uh, farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash farm dash marketing. Uh, so to get started with registering a domain and get hosting, you click literally click on get started and that'll bring you to the next page.
Now I'm not signed into my account. I've been, like I said, I've, I've used this company for a number of years. There are definitely other good companies out there. Uh, I know and trust fat cow. So that's what I'm going to talk about on farm marketing solutions. Uh, so we click on sign up now. I'm not signed in. I'm just going to pretend that I don't have a site already and show you how easy this is. So we click two buttons and we're already at registering a new domain name. So here's where you would put in the name of your farm. Uh, I already have food cyclist CYC. I always spell it wrong. Farm. I already have food cyclist farm.com registered, but we'll just add in rules because it's an awesome farm and see if I can get that searching domain name continue the processing uh here's where it says right up at the top food cyclist farm rules.com will be live on fat, fat cow in just a few minutes all i have to do is enter my billing information i fill that in when you go down to website essential uh, essentials not all of this you're really going to need um if you're not if you're putting a ton of information up there uh maybe you would want this 13 dollars a year for backing up your site I back up my site manually, so I don't do that. Um, securing your website, unless you're putting, again, unless you're putting a ton of information up there, chances are you're gonna be a small enough farm uh, where it's not gonna be as public, where you're gonna be really targeted. Hackers really target high profile sites. So, you know, I have security on my site because I have, you know, thousands and thousands of visitors, but that might not be something you need. Uh, so read through these choices and kind of see what you need, what you don't. Don't worry about driving traffic to your site uh, for $10 a year on Google. We're gonna go over that in the rest of the tutorial uh, and you don't need to pay somebody else to do that right away. It's just a bunch of add-ons. Um, what you will wanna look at is you know, how much you're gonna to commit to. Uh, I suggest going for the longest term possible. It's gonna save you the most money because you know, you're you're spending $3.15 a month, do it for 36 months. If your farm is going to be around forever, uh, you know, that's the hope at least, uh, you know, the, the more you buy, the more you're going to save. So go for those, those long, long-term, uh, commitments. You can see if you do it for 12 months, it costs you, you know, 50 cents more or something like that. Um, I always register mine for three years cause I think that's the maximum, uh, domain privacy. So, if you're a farm and you're public anyways, um, you know, domain privacy is for people that want to be more anonymous online. If you're all right with having your name out there, then it's, it's fine. It just says that this reg this website is registered to John Siskovich or whatever your name is. Uh, I've actually taken domain privacy off of my websites because you know, all my websites have all my contact information and my name on there anyways. So once you've clicked on everything, you go to the bottom, you click checkout, uh, and you'll be all set. You'll be ready to go onto the control panel, which I talk about in the next video. I hope this was very helpful. For more information on starting your farm website, you can visit farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash farm dash website. Thanks.